Peace to the fam. What's up? What's up? It's OE Sun, Team Taurus, Detroit, Michigan this evening. And we're tuning in, Cushion Coffee. You gotta hit the reconnect. Of course, it's, Mer it's still Mercury Retrograde out here today. Peace to the family. Thank you for inviting two people. I'm a special guest inside the Cushion Coffee Studios today with the God Sincere Seven, Team Leo in the building. Yo, peace, 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 everybody. It's your boy Black Sincere Seven, live and direct, coming out of Detroit, Michigan. Team Leo, 313. You know what I mean? Honored to have Oye Carter in here. Do I be pronouncing o that right? Oye Sun. Oye Sun. I always yeah. leave out the sun, huh? It's all good. Can't leave out the sun. Mm -mm. So, um, this, this, today's program is sponsored by Sincere Mirage. This is the coconut user Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris. THC infused wine, yes, sitting sir. with the alchemist, and if you have some type of uh, you want to get your energy and your attitude right. We also the uh, mojito mead. This is the honey mead with honey and ginger with their different flavors. So please reach out, Black Senses Seven, uh, our sponsor today. We also have uh, the original mood me with mm. ginger. Why are you making noises about this bottle? Mm, Cause that'll go good with Rob Bay's um oh, was, the medicinal mix with the C B D. Right. What was the one name of it? Uh one of them was Him Sum, Him Not Sun, one. uh Kink. That one. Oh. The kink would go perfect with the mood me. Do I already have a bottle of this? Uh you got the original with the ginger. That is more for the mood. Well, yeah, that's the libido. Why, why don't um, I have a bottle of this? I, you know, you, you, I think you had made your choice based off the, the magical elements of the original with the ginger. No, you didn't no. have no mood when I picked. I did. No. Yes, I did. No, you did the not. The last ones was the original with ginger, the mood mead, and the sarsaparilla. Yes, sir. These were the last three. This, we're gonna get I into have them. Trust me. We're going to get the opening prayer in yes, first sir. before I start getting on into that. <laughs> please um, please let me know where y'all at today, what your city and state is, what your team Zodiac, and um, invite two folks. And today we're talking about mental health. And emotional intelligence. Yes. A an attitude of gratitude. With a little bit of Mercury retrograde, all that's going to be mixed in there, all right? Abdul Cool Tap for the Tap. Why about Zoom? Gamma Fair Goon. Shalev Kaloon. I am in the love of all, and all love is in me. I am a part of all, and all is a part of me. And I am one with all, and all is one with me. And I can succeed as a part of all and fail as an individual. And I can be all that I wish in all as long as my wish is to stay in all. I am never alone. All is, I am. All can, I can. All does, I do. It's them J. All right. Um, for those of you all who are definitely into my business, he got the loud. I got the CBD. Thanks everybody for coming through. What up, Edith? What up, Marie? Asho, how you feeling? Peace, Kathy. See you. Celinda's in the building. What up, Kimberly Savage? Clifford Willis, please invite two folks. What up back there on Instagram? I can barely see that. I see you, HQ, the producer. Press 7 if you're going to share this video if you're on my page. You can press 7, too. I'll take a 7, too, if you're going to share it on your page, too. Shit, 7 is good. Yeah, we just keep the same numbers all together. Chris and Lightning. Yeah. Now I've been talking about Chris and Lightning. I know that's, I'm going to talk about, we're talking about mental health. We're talking about mental health amongst us, people of color, right? Yeah, and so... Earlier, I told you that what's going on right now is a litmus test for how many uh, down-low hypochondriacs we have. Right, right. And I was tripping when you said that because I had just told my sons that same thing earlier today. Every hypochondriac in the world is tripping right now. And all the... So when I went to prison, Jokers was like, oh, if you went to prison, you might be gay. I was like, bro, uh, prison to show you who you really are, just like money. Trouble, money, getting robbed... And going to jail, all four of those things, and a real down ass woman will show you who you really are. Military. Military will show you who you really are. You didn't go in there and the military change you. No, this is this is how you get down. So, um That's right. So I say it is also the um I want what you got syndrome. I want what you got. Right. I right. want what you got. It used to be rims. It used to be a girl with a big butt. Now you want the fear somebody else got. That's right. You say, oh man, you got fear. I want what you got. How do I get that what you got? Well, keep watching TV. Keep hanging around low, low energy, low, vibration, low vibrational people who got low vibrational conversation. Yep. 
um, keep going to church for certain. You're going to get plenty of it over there yep. if, if they don't close down. So that all affects the mental. Because hypochondriac, there's nothing wrong with them. Right. They're they looking for something to be. It's the science of attraction. And they mad because the doctor is saying, go home. You're afraid. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Go home. Can you please go home? Right. Stop coming down here. Do any of y'all know any people like that? I'm sure y'all do. So then if they're really dissatisfied, then they get the uh, Munchausen, huh? The Munchausen? Yeah, where well, they, that's where you just know something's wrong with you. Instead of thinking, it's like you, and then you start to um, do things to yourself. That's what, that's you know? what's happening right now. Right. Nobody, like, yo, I thought we was already washing our hands. It's the same formula. The sign is in this, the sign is in the bathroom everywhere you go. It's like, yo, before you leave, wash your hands. Truth be told, we been knew that a lot of people wasn't washing their hands. Yes. Let's keep it people, real. That's, that's really what this is. This, this many people ain't washing their hands. Right. You got one of the little things that go in the front. The little, oh, um, filter? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So the mental health thing is is really, really, really crazy because we really not paying attention like we could be and should be about our own mental health because you have to watch your um what about your consumption like what about your consumption of you always watching your consumption of food are you watching your consumption of intake seven have you noticed that people um you know what have you noticed about people's energy when they are not focused on high vibrational things right about now um, everybody's energy is nervous. Everybody's energy is, is testy, I guess you would say. Um, and, okay, like I walked to the store yesterday, it was like 8, 8, it was like 7.50. I'm like, okay, the store is finna close and I got there and it was just so many people there and they were just running up the aisles and just kind of had a state of hysteria, I guess. What? You know what I mean? Were they getting vitamins? No. Nobody no, was no, no, <laughs> no, no, everybody, vitamin, I, was, I was actually joking about the things that the people had in their baskets, like, that was an emergency, one of them, she had like a bunch of snacks, like just snacks, like the thing was just filled with but what, junk food. But what about Alka Seltzer Plus, and nah, vitamin C, none of that, and um, dandelion root, no, none of that, ginkgo galoco, niacin, no, nah, none of that, condoms, no, oh, damn, that, I brought that up too. I said, wait a minute, HIV been out for years. I don't see nobody rushing to grab no condoms. Now we get a coronavirus and everybody nervous and about to stop breathing. Like, y'all ain't stop fucking. Yeah, you know I mean, so yeah, no. <laughs> Funny, but no, real shit. Did this paper go like the uh, the li li sticky side towards towards you? Okay, yeah, you know? like that. Still learning, y'all. That's one thing I like about my brother right here too. Is everybody that come over here. When I use that, if they don't know how to, they'd be like, just do it for me. I remember the first time, you like, just do it for you. Whoa, 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 watch out. I got this. I, I, I'm going to learn how to do it. I was like, of course you are. Like, that's 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 your mindset. Like, you are going to know how to do it. You ain't going to have somebody do it for you. And I was, I, I, I meant to tell you that before. Like, yo, that's dope. Because most people are like, man, just do it for me. Just do it for me. Just And you, I'd be like, man, just let me do it for. You right? like, it's, my, it's, it's a done deal right here. You right. know what I'm saying? Smoke yours. You know, he's smoking his. I didn't I didn't roll with his. Now if we was driving, that'd be something different. You know what I'm saying? But uh mm -hmm. come through. No doubt. So man, um as far as like when we say mental health, um it was so funny when you, not funny, it was I'm trying to think of how I'm trying to say it. when you said it, it kinda caught me off guard. Like Oh shit! Yeah, hell yeah! Let's let's talk about that because ain't nobody talking about that. And really, everybody's mental health right now is at a state of question. Most people's, but not mine and yours. Right. That's what I mean. Most like the it society. Is, it is. It around. is crazy out there right now. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't a lot of people over here. I like. I came right over here. I was like, I'll be over there tomorrow around twelve or one. Got my ass right over here. Guess what? Ain't no bunch of no chaos over here. We not. All we talking about, he got a star of lessons laying around. He got the seed over there reading about African psychology. 
You know, we done had a, a, a mycelium network conference call yep. already. Yep. So been super productive. I've been in class today. So I don't know. Can I smoke with you? Can I get Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's yes, going definitely. on over here? I don't usually take this off the hip for me, but for you. Oh, man. <laughs> And get some sun. Where are people at? Who, ain't, ain't nobody getting no sun. Now, this is CBD, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I smoke. Okay? So don't get out here talking about OE oh, or the jazz is back. No, I'm not. This is, I got to come back where he's smoking. Yeah, I'm smoking loud. Right. And if I don't, then I'm going to be high her with that right there. Yeah. No, this me. You on Cushion Coffee. You got to smoke something. Cushion Coffee, baby. We in the coffee house, baby. We in the coffee house. Y'all know this ain't my background. You feel me? So... To me, I feel that emotional intelligence is the cure to mental health. How do you feel about that? Emotional intelligence is the cure for mental health. All right. Well, for mental health sickness, you mean? Right? Yes, yes, okay, yes, okay. yes, yes. All yes. right. Um, for low vibration mental health. You know, yes, yes. And you know what reason I'm thinking so deep on that is because I am a very emotional person. I'm a Leo fire sign, but my moon sign is um is uh, Cancer. Yeah, but practical em- joke of the universe. Emotional intelligence. Oh yeah, yeah. So Cancer is super emotional, right? And clingy, right? So when you said that that emotional intelligence is a cure for mental health problems, me being a person who has yeah, self um, self diagnosed and have had mental health problems. We all have. Right. And I, today, when I was at the laundromat, and um, you called me, and I said, "Well, I was trust frustrated this morning, and you know this and that, and going through some emotional." I, I had to talk two people down today already. And I said, uh, "So I went to the uh, to the laundromat to do some laundry and read my my, my lessons." And you asked me, and I, I thought it was a good question too. I was like, "Why do you ask me that?" But I was like, "That was a good question because it made me think." And you asked me, when you go into studying your lessons and things like that at an emotional state, how does it affect you? How does that help you? How did we like you came in with low vibration and then you picked up your lessons? Right. You right. was like, okay, I was low because because you, you was like, yeah, this morning and it really wasn't popping like I wanted to pop, right. but now I'm over here reading my lessons. Right. And he said the second part of the sentence with more bravado, and so I was asking him what was the change, and I'm still asking. How do you feel, you know, can, can you feel that change from you know, low vibration energy and stuff not going right, dealing with regular humans to opening up a Star Wars Book of Life, you know what I'm saying, traveling the Sea of Forces by Early and China? Right. Do you see a change? And, and, and Yes. And actually, that was when you just asked that question or said, is that correct? That's what it took my mind back to. It was that I went into my emotional intelligence because and and it and doing that cured my mental health issues. Because mental health issues can be ten minutes. You can be throwing a temper tantrum. You having a fucking mental health issue right you now. Could, you you could know be, what I'm saying? You could be depressed because your girl say she don't want to go to the movies. Right. You could be depressed for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours. Exactly. Or something. And so that yes, it, it. So when you asked that, it was like that is directly exactly what happened. It was like my emotional intelligence came in and was like, look, all that mental shit you tripping about. Man, be still. Be and still. Just be still. Be in, be in, the, be in the now. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because we are vehicles of experiences. So they helped you see the other side. Chaos and chaos and light travel together. I got to show you that in this other deck of cards I got. Chaos and light travel together. <sighs> they twins. Damn. Heads and tail of a coin. They go together. You can't go nowhere without the tails. That's that yin and yang. Law of polarity, law of gender. You could just call it law of money because it's just a heads and a tail. On okay, the coin. So keep it simple on there. The coin, if it's if it's a legit coin, it's got two sides. What's up, uh, Janet? And what up, Nicole? Peace to the family. Uh, somebody, brother Tyson or Mrs. Tyson over there. Oh, that's Kathy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big shouts out to Instagram. Y'all sitting way back so we can catch two people. We didn't want to move the table. You know what I'm saying? Because we gotta pay these bills. You know what I'm saying? Our sponsor, Sincere Mirage, THC infused cannabis wine, the best in America, right? The first in America. Oh, the first and the best in yeah. America. Oh, well, yeah, definitely the best as okay. well, because I've actually got the flavors down packed. A lot of the uh, companies are still 
trying to um, integrate cannabis into yeah. drinks. If you need to um, get a bottle, I would just DM me really quick because I'm in Detroit until tomorrow. So I'm going to be building with the guy for a few more hours. So I would DM me and be like, yo, I'm looking for a bottle. These going to be 60. Is that including shipping? Or um, the, matter of fact, yes. We'll do it like that. We'll it's do normally it like 60 that. plus shipping. That's what I was about to say. I mean, I mean we can keep it what, what it is. No, no, no. You know how I like to do is love whenever we do a show or something like that. Because when they say, well, we logged on here and we heard that you had a special. And we, you know what I'm saying? We'll get that love. So, you so can if they it. mention that, the, hey, you said during the show that we can get it for the 60 without shipping and handling, I'm going to honor that for yeah. sure. So... That's family. If you want to get a bottle, family, of the mead, the spiritual, magical work that you do with the honey mead, this is what uh, Master Mitchell Gibson has been talking about at least the last four or five months. And let me just say, I am a Tybro, uh, Tybroian, okay? I am a Tybro uh, family, member. family member, and so I've been doing the meads for, I think, six years now. And ginger is the base of all of my meads. As an alchemist, my elixir of life is honey, and my uh, philosopher's stone is ginger. When I do meads, that's different in other things. But And so when I came upon what you showed me with Dr. Mitchell Gibson, giving us the understanding of how strong it is and the different elements, I have started um, more meads specifically for... Tybro and magical use for, for those who practice it or practitioners. So just know that. So if you want one for um, your magical uses specifically, let me know. Oh, and I also got the ancestral ones. I don't know why I never, they're always on the altar, so I never really bring them up, you know? But um, we have the ancestral ones as well for your altar use. This is not for you to personally drink, this mm. is for the spirits and the celestial bodies to go on your altar. There is um, five different honeys, no, excuse me, four different honeys and three different types of grapes in there. So it's seven different elements, mm. all right? And it was a full calendar year of fermentation. I did that from one son to another, one whole year. Wow. So these are ancestral. So it caught every phase Ooh, of so this the calendar. Got, it's got 12 seasons in it. Yes, sir. Four seasons. 12, well, 12 zodiac seasons. 12 yes, sir. zodiac seasons. Four, yes, sir. Ooh. Mm -hmm. There's four cardinal signs in there. You can say that. Gotcha. You can say it's four. Gotcha. You can call that the four cardinals. Mm. You put four cardinals on. Wow. I, th I think I think. Uh, That's how just designed my bottle for the. Yeah, you know I mean. Four cardinals. Yeah, you know I mean. Four cardinals. Don't worry about the rest of it. You, you want to get a name. Right. I want to. Uh, let me. You should get a bottle of that four cardinals. How, how much is that? Uh, those are fifty. Mm -hmm. Turn out so. You send 60 so you take care of your shipping or whatever that's and I just got mine shipped I do want to say the packaging was superb okay. I did not know what was in there when I got the box Okay. I was just like where is this from it's got a this is like Amazon then I, I bust it open because I had ordered two box, two bottles I opened the first one I was just like what is this then you just keep you just keep peeling down like there's no way your bottle's gonna break <laughs> there's no how they pack it your bottle is not going to break, okay? That joint Shout out like, to Pelto. Shout out to Pelto on my shipping good, and receiving good, department. Good. He, He's shipping and receiving I, department. He takes that shit serious. I sat with him before and did some, and he was like, no, no, uh -uh, come on, take it back out. I got to give him his props. That, that, that is, that's fair. That's Pelto. He, he, he makes sure that the customer going to get their shit. Yes, right. Perfect. You're going to get your wine, and when you pull it out, I just took four pictures and sent it to my homegirl. This drugger didn't call me back or nothing. She just pulled up in the driveway. I was like, uh, what's happening? She was like, I'm here to see the me. Yeah. I said, what? She wanted to see the boxes that came in and everything. That was the day I called you. Right. You didn't answer the phone. But anyway. Anyway. Higher vibrations. Vibrating low gives us. So where does mental health come? Mental health issues. I, I, did, I talked about this yesterday. Okay. My nephew called me last week and was like, I'm checking on you. Um, I said, what you checking on me for? He said, because how you feel determines what you think about yourself what you think about yourself is going to lead into beliefs the beliefs are going to turn into actions and they're going to turn into sequence of events which is going to turn into your reality he said so the root of it all was how do you feel which he didn't even know he was doing human design because 
I'm an emotional uh, generator. Okay. So how do I feel in my gut? Remember, I'll be like, yo, I just don't feel like going to Hawaii. Mm-hmm. I just don't feel it. Just don't feel right. Now why? Because it's, now we see the gut was telling me that something right. else was moving in the universe. So my brother felt wasn't. It in your gut. It, I felt it in my gut. My gut was like, ah, we ain't going. And then, and then the gut will show you later. So how I felt was the belief. I was like, I, I put belief in how I felt. Cause normally I'd be like, man, I can go to Hawaii for the for the low for a buck fifty round trip. I got some place to stay and eat. You would have been on it. Right. I'm trying to convince myself mm-hmm. of why I needed to go versus what my gut was saying. Mm-hmm. I done done that enough times to get me in some jacked up stuff. Like I even went against like the I Ching reading one time. Where it was like the sister wanted. Uh, we were supposed to be going down to um, New Orleans for Halloween. And the reading really was like, yo, chill, not right now. Mm-hmm. But I was just like, man, I want to go. Right. And, <clears throat> man, I should have stayed at the house. Gotcha. You no, know, it was a cool time. Right. I learned a lot. Right. And sometimes I don't like to learn. So that's what it was more of a lesson. It was definitely a lesson. Yeah. It was definitely yeah. a lesson. That's what people mean when they say, man, I, I feel it in my gut. I don't know. Something ain't right. Francis said, hey, sincere and oh, ye. Peace, Francis. Peace, Francis. Peace. Yo. Back there. Back there in the back. Okay, so I I don't know. Um, it's 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 the subject that we're speaking on. I literally was reading on earlier today, and it was saying that. May I? Of course. Um, basically, you know, we have celestial bodies that give us energy. Of course, the sun gives us energy. And then, of course, the moon gives us energy. And it was given the understanding to me that the sun and moon give the earth energy. And then that energy comes for our use. For our use. For our use. Because it's fuel. Right. And I was like, hold on. Because, of course, I'm aware of the energy from the sun. And, of course, I'm aware of the energy from the moon. But I had never thought about the energy from the sun and moon to the earth and then coming back to me. Being for my use. Fuel. Fuel. Which is the Qigongs. That's why you do Qigongs, because that's energy work. You're using the energy of the planet as fuel for yourself. Ah, see? Okay, okay. And that was the part that... Okay, now, that's getting to a different part, so let me not go there. You you can drop that on me later. But, right before that, it was explaining the emotional plane and the mental plane. What degree is that? I think 10th. And I was kind of, I was I was in my mind I'm going, wow, how many people are aware of this? Because I think a lot of people think these are the same things. You know what I mean? And so just now when you was when you spoke on both sides of that, your mental health, no, excuse me, emotional health and your mental uh what did you call it? Oh, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. There we go. Excuse me. And mental Mm -hmm. health. And that, like, putting it that way is the way for people to understand these are two different things. And don't allow your emotional health or your emotional response or your emotional intelligence or lack of to affect your mental health. You need your mental health to influence your emotional health. And those things you do through practice by keeping yourself aware of. Ah, uh, go ahead. What? What? Go on. So I was looking for the piece he was talking about, which is on the next page, right? On page. No, where are what page? But right. Anyway, um, the astral body. There we go. Yep. Yep. The All mental that. body. Yes, sir. And the causal body. That's it. Right? So I was like, oh, let me just go back one more page. And then it went to the part I'm going to build on, the etheric double. Ooh. The etheric double is composed of four physical ethers. The electric, the pranic, light, and the mental reflecting ethers. See, your attitude is not in there. A whole bunch of that. You have to understand that you have an etheric double. This is emotional intelligence we're doing right now. So... So this took me to a, a, a lesson from Dr. Gibson, so because I'm, I'm putting two and two together and okay. getting seven. Right. Okay? okay. So when no, that's compounded. 
Yeah, two and two and getting six. That's what it is. Two plus two equals six. Absolutely. Yep. Because when you put one horse pulling, one horse can pull um, 3,000 pounds. Two horses can pull 7,000. 7, 7, 7,000. Okay. No, 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 no. My fault. My fault. My fault. If one horse can pull 3,000. Two horses can pull seven. Can pull nine thousand. Nine thousand. They're pulling three times as much instead of twelve. Wait a oh, so it's a thirty percent increase. So instead each. of six. So they no, no, no. My fault. It's eight thousand. One horse can pull eight thousand pounds. So two horses can pull twenty-four thousand pounds. Oh. Yeah. So if we was so it has thirty percent. Yeah. Oh, if, we, if we was to work, if we was to work with our etheric doubles, how much how much weight you think we could pull? So the stuff that's going on now, right. there's an attack on our etheric double, and we just filling it down here in this thing because we're all programs. Uh, so the real you, the real sincere, is laid somewhere, sleep. Right. But the wires is coming down, and you playing the whole Smurf game, whatever, down here in this reality. So if something affects the cosmic part, you're going to feel it down here. That's why they say as above, so below. So anything we feel down here is some kind of virus in the program. That's why when you sent me the book, um, and you was like, yo, it says it's going to go away quickly. Mm -hmm. Out of nowhere and then come back 10 years later. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So they're banking on that. You know, even letting that out. Because apparently the temperature, it, 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 the temperature is it, it can't survive under some temperature. So once the temperature goes up to outside, once once summertime hits, then it's gonna disappear. Remember spring, whatever. Remember. So 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 they say. Remember the mental reflecting ethers. What does the word corona mean? Crown. Does it? See, si, senor. Oh, I didn't know that. So I'm trying to catch what you got. Fear. In the crown, and now everybody's thinking up symptoms, and then the bodies are manifesting them. as above, so below. Right. We're not getting sick, other than we got a ton of melanin. We just don't really accept it as real, right? And then some, the people who are are like they're like I, I know I've seen people on Facebook said I think I got it, y'all. I'm coughing, this is that. I'm going like really like. Even if I was going through that, I wouldn't be saying I think I got it. Yeah, you know I mean, I think I might have caught a cold. It's a bad time to catch a cold while everybody has this virus because they don't think I got it. But I ain't got it. You know what I mean? Type of shit. So you, you're right. And when you said this is the, uh, the disease of I wanted two is going around, I'm like, damn, you ain't lying. So Even though some shit like this, people are trying to get it and claiming it, and you know what I'm saying? They want to be the first to know somebody with it. Oh, somebody at school got it. You know what I mean? Like damn, I'm like, turning it around. I know this cat in Detroit. He rich. His name's Sincere. See, what if we start talking about our brothers and our kings and saying, oh, you, he, he, he got to be rich. Sincere got to be rich. Or we over here talking about, man, you know how much money Kalinda got? Man, that's so great. He's going to be, he, all his Bitcoin is going to just make him into a trillionaire. Right. But instead, we trying to start talking about somebody who got sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What if all of us took all that energy and just started mm -hmm. talking about, so what's your son's name? Zakai. I can't wait to Zakai get in the NBA. With a doctorate at 19, that's going to be crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get like a $90 million signing bonus guaranteed. Mm -hmm. That's not even the shoe deal. Right, right. Versus, uh, you, has your son been washing his hands? <laughs> <laughs> I just spoke right. all dreams on right. your son. That's right. Versus, is that's he wiping right. his ass with toilet paper? That's yeah, right. Toilet paper for your son to wipe his ass? And people don't realize how strong and how powerful they're see that's what that is it, i think it always goes back to people don't know how powerful they truly are you know what i mean that's why they're searching for these things because they don't they like they don't and but the thing is they'll say they do that's the crazy part it's not like these things are unknown like they've never heard it they've heard it they mean like the word the, the power of the word is powerful and then turn around and say you know, I think I might be sick. Like that's the, the program. What the fuck? Like so, so the cell. That's how the program is divided. I, I almost passed this to you. Don't worry, man. I see sitting right here. The the um the program. The program is a counterpuncher. 
and your sales are aggressive because they'll, cause they'll go first. So your sales will tell you, you already know this, but then the program will counterpunch. No, you don't. This is foreign. Question it. Disbelief. Mm, I see what you're saying. Then the sales will hear some more truth and react like it's true. And then all of a sudden the program will come back and flood you with media and news and uh, low mental health. Why on the news? I'm listening to y'all station up here today, and then it tells me that Taco Bell is only going to be serving through the drive thru <laughs> you say what? Are you serious? On everything. <laughs> on everything. <laughs> Man, what are you calling? What is going on? I don't even call. You call me off call. Like <laughs> on everything. Yo. Oh my goodness. You're not getting nothing. Yo, I read that all these is only letting you get one of everything. Martial law. You can't buy two of anything. You can get one of everything if you need it, but you can't buy two of nothing. No hoarding. Why you got two Philly's cream cheese? Put one back. Nope. Why you got two packs of toilet paper? Put one back. That's good. People need to learn how to cut that one way. You see how excessive we are? Remember back to the topic of, this, of, this, of, the, of the whole show today. Okay. All these hypochondriacs. Hypochondriacs everywhere on the low. They bought all the toilet paper and didn't buy no vitamins. Okay. Come on, man. Now, I don't want to be just... Be know. honest, though. Whatever you're about to say, just be honest. No, no, I'm, I'm being honest. Okay. I, I, I was just saying, I don't I don't want to be on some social media, sh but I just need to understand, what is the deal with the, the toilet paper? I don't even get that part. Huh? Why is everybody buying toilet paper? Because I want what they got. Remember I told you, that's the disease that's going around. <laughs> I want what they got. And that must be proof of it, because I don't get it. I'm, I'm like, hanging, I'm I don't around. even get the joke. I'm hanging around you. I want what you got. <laughs> I want what you got. I want what you got. Right. I'm hanging around people that's got what I want. They're where I want to go. You know what I'm saying? I want what he got. If I'm if the if the disease is going around, see this is martial arts. Positioning, pivots, and angles. It ain't even about the strikes. It's about positioning, pivoting, and angles. If you get those, the strike is there. Positioning, ah, right. my feet is positioned, boom, then I pivot, boom, then I see the angle. I just, I, then I slide into it. I don't even have to call it a strike. I slide into it. Mike Tyson said the punch everybody's trying to get is the one nobody sees. I'm trying to hit you. That's that, that's the punch every, every every fighter is afraid of. The one I don't see coming. Right. And he said that's that's what he was a master of, going to that place. And it happened from positioning, pivoting, and angles. Then he just then then the, then the map was right there. And then, of course, he got it infused with a whole bunch of emotions and passions and wild animal spirit. And magic. He hit them with a whole Thor hammer. So, can you, can you, because I'm, I'm going to ask you, you know, you, you're more in tune, you know, um, with uh, the Tysons or whatnot. Um, I heard that when he was younger, they performed some type of magic on him like used to uh make he's, him he used to get hypnotized hypnotized he right get hypnotized and told that he was a beast or something like that an intelligent savage beast an intelligent savage beast because i just heard him say it the other day okay so that is true beast, it is okay true. okay it was okay it was custom auto was training him he was hypnotizing okay him. You know, intelligent okay. savage beast okay. that's why he was trying to you know, he was using big words before everybody else it's like you can't even pronounce it, but you're using it. Meaning, I do know what it said, and I'm practicing. Got you. I'm practicing. Okay. Okay. So, All right. what do you want now? Okay. And, and I done shook Muhammad Ali's hand. He done passed the torch. Right. I'm right. handling from here. Who was the one to get the uh, 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 avenge? Larry Holmes beat up Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson beat up Larry Holmes. That's right. He beat the brakes off of him. That's right. So, That's right. once we change. No, oh, oh, being around people who got what I got, who got what I want, and that's the thing. When you get when you around low vibration, that's why I started the high vibration challenge. Why don't you post something on the page? So I asked the queen. I said, Yo, what? Like, what should I do a live about? I really don't even feel like talking to nobody. Mm -hmm. She says, She said, What's been your thing for the last two years? I said, Live free. She said, Well, just go talk about how you do that. Positioning. Pivot. And angles. And angles. Oh, yeah. That's how I win. Yeah. I have some other strategies, you know what I'm saying, that go with that, that support that, but... When you say live free, 
Oh, this is King talk. Yeah. What you mean when you say live free? Because my mind goes somewhere, but I want to hear where your mind goes. Because I'd be like, damn, I never thought about it like that. Every time I talk to you, so, you know, that's why you big bro. Like, so when you said that, my mind went somewhere, but what do you mean when you say that? At the end of the day, at the end of every class with Saint Grandmaster Senyata Saraswati, mm -hmm. uh, where we was learning Tantra, martial arts, African Kung Fu, Reiki, Dragon Arts, Healing Arts. Did you say African Kung Fu? And that's what I said. Uh, right, off the Kalinde tree. Uh, that we didn't even know was off the Kalinde tree. You know what I'm saying? So his wife just came in one day and was like, we're going to practice this African Kung Fu, Circle of Power. What? Circle of power. She said it's a dance. Cause we, cause we used to train with music. Cause we used to train with music every, um, all the time anyway. Like Senyata would, we would learn Tai Chi to Jill Scott. He let us bring the music. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? What? My man came here the other day. He was asking me about Baba Kalinde. What? And I told him a little bit of something, something. And you know, he was like, so martial arts and the fields and everything, like all of that. And he was like, man, how do I? Find? I'm like, just look him up on Facebook, right? So then he came in two days later. We're sitting here talking. Who they were? No, no, no. Oh, uh, me and the brother. Right. And he was like, man, I've been hungry, man. I've been watching everything and listening to everything, man. I'm talking about. And he started doing it. And I'm like, yo, where you get that from? He's like, man, I'm on it, man. I'm on it. Yo, yeah. This is the freakiest shit. This is the freakiest shit out here. I don't care what nobody's talking about. Like, this and some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna show all that. That footwork, yeah, I mean, well, the some other hand, all of that. Some other oh, hand okay, things, you're saying, okay, got hand you. things got that you. go with that. I particularly like, uh, I particularly like African Gung Fu and Splashing hand, splash Hands of the Dragon together. As splashing an Hands of the Dragon. Splashing Hands of the Dragon with the African Gung Fu. That, right there, that right there get you home safely. Cause that's really the object. That's a martial arts. You just you ain't trying to hurt nobody. I'm trying to get home safely. <laughs> just trying to get home. Y'all, you like that noise back there. You like hearing the youth play. You that's like right. hearing the queen teach. You like somebody getting corrected. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah, oh, that's you, right. oh, you fail. I like hearing that too. Cause that's home. So your responsibility is to get home every night. That's right. So I'm just trying to get home safely. So sometimes I can just that just helps me. That just give me more guarantee. That as long as I don't get stopped by the cops, ain't no physical entity gonna stop me from getting to the house. <laughs> okay, right, right. Because that, because that is a that, that that that's a full um keep your hands to yourself uh, style. Okay, okay. Well, it's, it's a message. I call it a messaging style. I'm sending you a message to keep your hands to yourself. So, so my sons, they um they practice every day. Um, they work out, and this is not because I make them. This is. He sets his alarm at 4.30 in the morning. The one who owned the business, now he got his other brother here. They work out, um, they go to school, when they come back, they work out again, they throw knives, they practice their nunchucks, uh, they practice their martial arts, all of this, right? So then they was walking by one day and I said, hey, what are y'all doing every day? And they was like, we're practicing. I said, practice what? They said, our martial arts. And I said, I ain't never seen none of y'all read up on anatomy. And I said, what is martial arts to y'all? And they said, being able to whoop somebody's ass. And I said, that's not what martial arts is. Martial arts. I said, to me, martial arts is learning how to improve yourself. And the more that you learn how to improve yourself, the side effect of that is learning how to destroy yourself or somebody else. No. So. The word kung fu okay. means young forest. Young forest. Young forest. So now we put that with Proverbs 22. We bring a child up the way we would want him to, you know, what it, what does it say? Raise the child up in the way you want him to be. So when he is old, he will not part from it. That's Proverbs 22. That's what the, that's what the, that's what the Christians always talk about. My whole program around the kids is around Proverbs 22. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Raise up a child in the way you want him to go. So when he is old, he will not depart from it. Right. You live by it. Right. You just ain't calling it Proverbs 22. Right, right. But what you pulling in that nigga is so when he get old, he ain't going to be able to just be like, well, I forgot. You shit. Right, yeah, yeah. You're too many no. reps. Right, right. Facts. So that's Proverbs 22. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Which is wisdom, wisdom, all being born to culture. culture. Freedom. Right. Yes. Can elaborate on the young force. 
So, oh, which is his foundation? I, okay. Which is the first third of the twelve jewels? First, if you if you divide the twelve jewels up, the first it's four, four, and four. All right. So, the the okay, got you. The back up to where I was at. Back up to where I was at. Where I was, we was talking about. Um, do you martial arts means young forest? Okay. So this this wood is just training away. So when you told it that it needs to start studying anatomy, that was you like assisting the tree. You just you gave the tree fertilizer. What's your job if you the uh, if you the right. grandmaster of oh. the uh, of the dojo? You just walk around with the shoulder off robe with sandals on the flip flops. <laughs> right. Your job is to make sure everybody got fertilizer. Right. Don't worry. You already got teachers out here. What's your job? To go get some shit. Right. You need fertilizer. Right. You need fertilizer. Right. So what was fertilizer for him? You have you studied anatomy? Mm -hmm. Did you go in there and ask uh OE did he bring his laptop? Does he have something on does he have a file on his laptop with several martial arts documents that you might could get? Mm -hmm. did, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, did you go in there and check with him to see what he's walking around with? Well, I'm strapped. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this okay. on that computer, but on the hard drive at the crib. Okay. But I probably have them in emails and whatnot, so I'm I'm, I'm sure I have several things. Right. You didn't hit he me can get with a few emails. Huh? I said you hit me with a few emails. You don't got my martial arts though. No, not Z yet. Zero at my library. No, no, never. You ain't never passed me none of them jewels. You didn't hit me with plenty of business. Yeah, you know I mean, coaching, get my life right, meditation. Yeah, you know I mean, even you know some jewels, but yeah, you ain't never passed. Why is that? Oh, never mind. I already know why. No, I can assume why. I just be on the topics that we be on. Okay, got gotcha. you. I'm trying to pass it. Got gotcha. you. Look, you're trying to pass it, huh? When I, if I speak on it and I got something that you can just do, get additional research that help me, and you know, why, why would not offer it to another ally? You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what kings do. This my ally. So I, if I got fertilizer, he got fertilizer. What are you talking about? He he know how to grow. All I need is some fertilizer, bro. We both got water. We both got sunshine. Oh, show you the worm farm. Um, I think I seen that before. We didn't show it. We created our own fertilizer. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what My mean? digital library is like equivalent to his worms. Yeah, horses we, are too we, big. We so. ain't moving without them. We ain't moving without the Nan Library or Nan Network. Now, what is my uh? Yeah, man. So how, training. how can an individual strengthen their emotional intelligence so that they can work on their mental health? Jedi training. I still said the answer before I took the water. I said I the see, answer before I you, see you said it. I was like, <laughs> I didn't know he was going to answer. I was like, wait a minute. Don't say that yet. But that's the answer to the question. Train like a Jedi. Okay. Go watch Go watch your three Star Wars movies. That's all you got to do. Go catch you. Just pick three of them in a row, and you're going to see some Jedi training in all three. Just do that. Okay. Star it's in the movies. The first three, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Go watch all three of them. Or you can skip the first one and go two, three, four. As long as they oh, three in a three row. three of them in a row. There's three of them in a row. There's going to be a mention of Yoda. There's going to be talking about how Darth Vader was coming up. You're going to see somebody having the damn go through some type of transformation. I have found more and more when I'm sitting having my counseling sessions or building sessions or whatever, that the easiest way to explain things is always to go to a movie. Oh, just all day. Take your ass to a movie. I just went and seen, because Baba was talking about, um, or somebody was talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. Word? It's some science? Of course it's some science. We're trying to get to the planet of mushrooms. Okay, say less. <laughs> say less. The whole movie, he got these rings where he can jump through dimensions and get anywhere. But he's but when he's in trouble, he's got to get to the planet of mushrooms. Mm. He got these rings that open up portals like uh, Doctor Strange, but they small. They like 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 they in a bag. So all you gotta do is just pull the ring up. Okay. And he can jump through a portal. Did. So he, and can, it, and he, it. he trying to get to the mushroom planet. Like the Smurfs. But there ain't no people there. Just mushrooms. Just mushrooms. Right. The Smurfs. And then uh, another movie just said Doctor Strange, of course, filled with science. Yeah, so, um, but the thing is, in a movie, when you go watch the movie, you got to train longer than two hours, okay? Meaning that you need, like, 30 minutes a day, twice a day. That's an hour a day. That's 30 hours a month. 
that's 352 hours a year. You know what I'm saying? Or 365 hours a year if you train an hour a day. Or 60, 30 minutes twice a day. The thing is, 30 minutes is going to pass either way. You might as well practice. You know what I'm saying? So right. That's what I'm looking at. For my birthday, what I need to be doing? Practicing. That's why right. niggas always ask me, are you going somewhere? I need to be doing this. I was about to ask you the same thing. Practice. You going on a trip? I need to practice. I need to go into 50 practicing. Okay. Every year. You wanted 50? Every year I went. This, this is how you travel every year. On your birthday, don't be home. Don't sleep, don't sleep in your bed on your birthday. You will travel all that year. Some kind of way, the universe will just be like. Okay. So for six years I've been doing that. That's why jokers be lighting up. All I, on May 17th, I ain't home. I can be back in the morning on the 18th. Cause that was the, that's what I met you, right? That's your first... Uh, the day after my birthday on the 18th. Detroit. Where was I at on the 17th? Detroit. Detroit, yeah. I traveled all of 2018. Yeah, that's right. No, 2019. Yeah. I'm still riding. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It ain't even been a whole year. Look where I done been. Right. Just since you met me. Right. That's less than a year. Has it only been a year? It has not been a year. Because my birthday is in May. What's the day? That name? was 2019. Man, I, I almost thought it was two years ago that we met, but just I ain't had my, we ain't had IE Mean Jews for a whole year. Oh, yeah. Damn. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Damn. Positioning. Oh, my goodness. Pivot. I seen the angle. <laughs> <laughs> He was stung. I love you, left. Lord. I love like, you, Lord. Like, oh, I remember yeah. the day. I was on the phone with my big brother and my teacher, General Firewater. And we was just building on some sciences. And he was like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and then he said something like, he said something like, oh, yeah, he might. Something about Kyrie because he in Detroit. And I'm like, wait, did you just say Kyrie's in Detroit? You know, because that's what you were formerly known as. And uh, so that's what I called you. I was like, you, you said coach in Detroit right now. He said, yeah. I said, look, man, I'm going to have to call you back because I'm about to go over there and I'm about to go bow at his feet. <laughs> I said that to him. Next time you talk to him, ask him. So I go over there to the secret spot where everybody was going through. And I seen you. And we sat. You know what I mean? I didn't want to talk to you too much because you was talking to somebody else. And then you went and you got initiated. And you came back up, and I said something to you again, and you was like, I ain't get your name, brother. And I was like, Sincere Seven. And you instantly went down, and I'm like, no, what do you, what do you? and I was so confused. I'm bowing. I was so confused, because I'm like, wait, first of all, why are you bowing? Second of all, no, I came to bow with Chofi. You know what I'm saying? That, that day was, I seen so many magical things that day. Because I still tell people to this day about how I was the only person who had the vision of the kitchen when you came out the basement and you grabbed the master to snatch him off his feet and he didn't move. And I know you a gorilla. It was an epic fail. And I know he a bear. And I'm seeing this gorilla go to pick the... And I was so confused at how what I was watching was... Like, how did he... How did he not, like... Jedi. <sighs> Jedi. Cause I could see if he was holding the table, but Jedi. like with nobody holding on, and I feel like I could pick anybody up. His network is his net worth, just like mine. His oh net, my goodness! His, his network a little further than my network. My network is kind of you know decent. Man, but his network is like you know he dealing with Chinese masters, African masters. He got I mean, you know, dealing with. I mean, he had, he, he had a different I, pay schedule. I love the humility amongst us all. I love it. You I, love I, Senyata. I, I ain't gonna lie. Senyata will come over here just. Like Kalende, oh, you gonna be over at Sevens? He like he would like for us to come get him, just to bring him to our crib and chill. Really? You know what I'm saying? Because you know, um, you know, it was always a question about the art, sciences. Tell us the story. Tell us the story. Right. They won't never know. You wanna go get a fish sandwich? Catfish? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, the two eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? The general told me these stories too. I'm like, really? Yeah. Right. And, like, then, and then be out and just be happy. You know what I'm saying? Just the illest the one of the illest stories I could tell about how Ill, Ill his mental health was and emotional intelligence. We downtown Winston Salem. And we see a hot dog cart 
across the street on a summer day. We go over to the hot dog cart to get four hot dogs. The lady who running the hot dog cart used to study with Sanyata. She like, oh, peace, peace, peace. He was like, oh, okay, boom. She was like, you know, boom, hot dogs on us. The hot dogs on me, you know, you da 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 Right. So, um, Sanyata was like, so where's your husband? Y- y'all are inseparable. Where are you? Like that. And so he, she said, man, he was fixing the brakes on the truck the other day, and um, and the and the it, it, it fell out of gear. The brake came off and rolled over his foot, and then oh, it, but it was rolling to the street. So he had to try to chase it, to try to jump in, and he fell and slipped up under it, and it broke his leg too. Oh wow! That's me. That's me. That's, that's why I'm just like the stories is getting bad out here. Right. And then a car hit the truck anyway. Cause he couldn't stop it, so he just let it roll over his leg, break his leg. It rolls in the street, and then the car hits that, and now we gotta go to court because we tore up somebody else's car with his truck. They were trying to fix the brakes on up in the driveway. Oh my goodness! That was Sinyata say. What? It's a bad karma. Hmm. Quick, quick. No, or he was like, karma is a mother. Yeah. That's what I think we said. Karma is a mother. Got you. What? Got you. That's how you just sum that up that quick. That's all that was. And all what that, did she that, say? Yeah. Kind of like. She was like, yeah. Kind of confirmed it. Yeah. Like she knew. Like yeah. with, like now that you say it, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. how it be. I ain't told her but all the, you know, the right. six months before that, mm-hmm. what, what was going on. You know what I'm Man, saying? Man, that's real. That's, that's, that's real right there. Acacia's on here. Oh, peace, peace, peace to the sis. Oh, my goodness. Isn't she coming up here at the end of the month for the Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yes. Let's talk about that. I hope you're going to have her here on Cushion Coffee. I hope so, too. I would I be honored. I don't want to have to call. I would be honored. I don't want to have to call, and I can't. And she in Detroit, and y'all ain't done a Cushion now Coffee. Now that you said it, I'm sure that now I will have the honor. I'm going to be like, you know, my big brother even said, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to use your name, because I hope I can make that happen. I mean, if I can get her on here to talk to, because I mean, you, know, you got, you know what? You gonna need how many days she gonna be here? Um, the twenty seventh, twenty eighth, and the 29th is the days of the Cambo Frog Ceremony, and uh, the lecture will be on Friday, and then the um, um, ceremonies will be on Saturday and Sunday. However, I'm not sure how long you know that she'll be here, but so at least those three days. What I would do she's is she's welcome as long as she wants. I I do a live. Uh-huh. A one hour live all three days just to make sure you capture some pure raw and just let an it, hour be enough no just let it it's, it's gonna be three hours and you just be like that's it okay we'll see y'all tomorrow okay. you know what I'm saying no doubt I mean but you know if she flowing then move out the way well you're right because we will be working holding ceremonies and things like that so maybe in the morning when we get up in the morning go through our meditative and uh, personal hygiene and all of that and then boom maybe do an hour like you said keep it short and then Get the ceremonies. That'll Long be a good the rest old. of the day. She didn't come here to do lives. Right. She came there here to do go. ceremonies. That's right. That's then the right. next morning when she come back, she can talk about ceremonies that she just did the day before. Right. And those particular experiences, because she just going to channel anyway. So, as far as ceremonies, just so all, you all know what we're talking about on the 27th, she 28th, just said, and, and 29th. And she just said, sure. I, I, I book deals. Great. I, there I we go. Deals. <laughs> deals. Um... We will be having a special teacher. She's uh, coming by way of Mexico, coming through America, and we'll be stopping here in Detroit for three days to do a lecture on the Cambo um, frog medicine and uh, how it helps to rid the body of candida, um, yeasts, um, worms, intestines, evil spirits. Um, a, it, a lot of healing takes place. And then she will also help to integrate back in, um, you know, help the integration process of the medicine and coming back. One thing I like about her administering the medicine mm-hmm. is one thing that Kalinde has said. Stop being around people who ain't even doing the medicine that they that they are dosing. How can you dose me and you ain't, how can you sit with me and, and you're not you, you, you ain't even dosing? Right. So Acacia. I think she said she has 36 uh, ports or chambers. She's on a psycho. Just psycho one arm. Man. She's right. our. She's our ranking officer. Yes. She's mine. Yes. I don't know what he say. No, oh she's, yeah, definitely. She's, she's definitely. Yeah, like, definitely. She's, she's, I've been saying that. She, Me and General Firewater was talking about she, that. She's my NASA expert, yeah. nigga. You start, yeah. CERN, NASA, 
all that right there. I oh was yeah, like, she's oh, definitely nah, running. I'm, on I'm, 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 I'm straight. Yeah, and she knew why and she right knowledge and Morris. Her whole science is stupid, yo. And she oh, ain't even dirty. That right there is gonna be dynamic. Yeah, she's my teacher in, in, a, in a few different chambers, so it's much respect, much love. She, she, she you know, she popped up on me in um, Mexico. That's what I'm saying. You gotta do. What? I got something that's 22 minutes. When she started going so heavy, I cut it off and my wrist was hurting. Okay. I was like, she about to lose them. Because right. it was her, Cha, Virginia, me, and this other cat. I so can't wait was, till I get down there. It was all high vibration. I can't so wait till she I get was down just there. Boom, 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 boom. I was like, they ain't gonna be able to get all this. If you're interested in, if you're in Detroit and you're interested in learning about the Cambo and or um, maybe taking place, we have a limited amount of seats, so you want to inbox me immediately. All right. Um, if you want the details, the prices, and all that, just inbox me, and I will give that to you. If any of you remember my video I did on why you should take five grams of mushrooms, mental health, emotional intelligence. What you think Jedi is was consuming? Entheogens. Right. No doubt. The creation of a Jedi character came out of an entheogen. That's the highest order. That's like the Pan Cyan or the uh, Azarenses or the Thunder Slides right. of Mexico. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, man. What do you want to do? That's right. what. That's what. That's what Jedi is. Right. They wasn't taking no. Um, I'm not dissing them. You know what I'm saying? But they weren't taking no white teachers or no. They weren't thinking about no penis envy. They had some. Right. They had some loud, loud. Gong, right. gong, gong, gong. What are we gonna take today? I'm gonna do about thirty-five now. Thirty-five grams. So. Uh, as a, well, you can, you're protect, consider yourself a practitioner, correct? Uh, uh, well, you practicing with the um, entheogens? Yes. I okay. You were talking about because you were talking about a, 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 a tax returns. Okay. No. 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 You said you know. Yeah. You I guess self is the magic stick of the world. Part of self. Okay. So, um, do you tell or advise to people who come through you? To start with the high dose and go to microdosing, or start off microdosing, and when they feel ready to go into their high dose. My philosophy is start at start at five, which is regular dose. That's what we gonna start calling that, okay? We will start at regular dose five. Uh, in 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 your circle, because around in my circle, a regular dose is seven. <laughs> Whatever your regular dose. Guess what? Okay, okay. Is, guess what? If I tell him to bust open a bottle of this meat and pour me a drink, guess who gets to determine how he pours the drink? The person who opened it. I asked for a drink. He came here to pour me a drink. So it's up to him how he pour the drink. Mm. So when you go on, on your experiences with your psychonaut uh, travel agent, how he pour it is ragged. Did I get that right? I feel that. I felt that. I felt that. I respect that. I like that. If you over there at his house no yep. and he pour you seven, eat up. Right. If you at my house and I pour out five, eat up. Right. But right. don't go back to his house and say, oh, he was doing it this way. Right. So what? Right. Thank and don't you. come tell me. Thank you for pointing that out. Sincere was doing it like that. Yes. He's pouring. That's all shot calling. He's pouring. When you pour, you, you get to say everything. When you wouldn't got the bottle, you you running you you running you running it. You just came mm -hmm. to drink. You don't even you you don't know how to pour. Okay. You don't know how to pour. So you can't do nothing but drink. That's all you there to do is receive. So going back to it, so you say you start then, off with the regular dose. And then prescribe uh uh Microdosing after the microdose, after I consulted with you, okay. uh, two to three days after you do a regular dose. Okay. Two or three days after you do a regular dose, microdose. And my uh, rationale and methodology behind that is then, then the microdose has something to seed with. You already have a mycelium network in the body. A real mycelial <coughs> network in the body <coughs> off of five grams. Gotcha. So then when you drop a uh a little spore print, uh every other day, uh point three or point two five, uh Okay. You're seeding that mycelium. I see. Just a little bit. Ah. Uh. Especially if you go on every other day. Then if you go every day, 
Figuratively, everybody. Um, mycelium isn't really growing anybody. He means figuratively. Let's point that out. Mycelium is not. <laughs> watch this. But the network. But the network. Right. Is. Yes, most definitely. The mycelium is not in the body. Right, and I just want to point that out is. because the cordyceps. You know what? That's a good. That's a good point. Magic mushrooms is installing the net. Is installing your. Uh, installing your network. Facts. And actually, <laughs> I want to touch on that. Um, the because I just said that I wanted to make that clear because of is is your uh, battery good? Because if not, it's charged right there. I wanted to make that clear because of the cordyceps mushroom, which is a mushroom that actually sprouts out of a living organism, such as um, you can unplug the water thing, okay, okay, okay. such as a um, ant or uh, Japanese silkworms and things of this nature. Now, the reason I'm speaking about this is because a lot of people go, oh, that's nasty. Ugh. The mushroom actually grows out of, yes, the mycelium in this case actually does take over the host's body, grows inside of the host, and then grows out of the host. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up is to point out that this mushroom is taking a life force from this insect to be able to give a medicine. So it's transforming this life-giving energy into another life-giving energy. And it contains what's called cortisai. Mm. And cortisai is comparable to birth control for breast cancer. Okay? I need everybody Ooh. to know that. So birth what I'm saying for breast cancer. And you get that from where? Cordyceps mushroom. The cordyceps. That's in the eight pack I got. I know. I know. So I like to take those on the days I'm not microdosing. Okay. So because they're also good for oxygen. Oxygenating the brain, your immune system, um, um, all mental health once again. These are these are uh, fruit of the gods. So what do you think the Jedi would eat? If it's fruit of the gods, the Jedi want to eat that. The Jedi does not want to eat Taco Bell. The Jedi, the Jedi does not care. <laughs> That Taco Bell is only serving through the, the, through the drive through indefinitely, okay? Let me finish this, though, while I was saying that. Matter of fact, before we move on, the reason I'm pointing that out, everybody, is because, again, what I mean by birth control for, for breast cancer, for those who might not catch what I'm saying, is this. It might not kill breast cancer cells in your body, but it won't allow them to spread. So if you have a history, women... And fellas, I mean, let's keep it cheap. Men can get breast cancer as well. It's like, I think, 12% uh, of the breast cancer people is uh, men. But So if you have a history of breast cancer, somebody in your family, and you, you know, um, what's her name, Angelina Jolene, went and got a double, both of her breasts cut off. And I'm saying, I think that if she would have known about the cordyceps mushroom, that she would have got up every morning and took two microdose, two pills, of cordyceps every day because now you're taking the cordyceps every day so even if you do have these cells in your body it's not going to allow them to spread and you won't get that you won't get um infested with breast cancer back to the martial <clears throat> arts positioning and pivots you now that's when you want to pivot when you see this thing coming i have the cells but what do you do pivot then you see the angle Cordyceps is like, ah, yes, sir. slide it right in here. You know what I'm saying? And if you want another another source of that information, watch on Netflix, Magic of Mushrooms. Yes. I think yes. it's like 47 minutes in. Yes. Or is it 103? I don't know. I'll be mixing up with it. But it's towards, it's towards later on. But watch Magic of Mushrooms. Right. Watch the whole thing. Watch the whole thing. Yeah. Watch the whole thing. Yeah. So, you wanted to ask me about a kit, too, before we get off of here. Uh, the ancestral kit. Yes, the ancestral. You know, you being, again, my big brother, my coach, the one you go mental, to. It's good for mental health, too. Uh, the ancestral, because everybody that be coming to me, for whatever reason, when they come to me and we talk and we go through all of these talks, I always ask people before we get off the phone or off video or if they came over, I say, hold on, do you have an altar? I always ask them that. And the answer is always one of two things. Either 
I just put one up within the last three weeks, or I do, but I've been moving it around, and so it's kind of like, and then whatever else after that. So, I have put together for a lot of people, you know, um, in our uh, spiritual practitioner introduction group, and just other platforms, a um, a um, ancestral um, kit to start off an ancestral uh, altar starter kit. That's what I'm trying to say. Excuse me. An altar starter kit. And um, so, you know, you being a big brother and real deep into, you know, the arts and the spiritual um, schools, I wanted to get your opinion on what do you think about this? Um, I just, you see, I just bow, put it on the table. I ain't explained. I just laid it out. Just bow, yeah, there it is. Boom, you start off with the sage or the Palo Santo, depending on the situation. So both in there, right? Absolutely. Okay, gotcha. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, right? Then I'm burning that in front of the ancestor who I'm going to have in this gold frame. You always frame your ancestors or people you want to heal in gold. Then he hit him with the... That was actually for <laughs> the personal picture of yourself oh. on your altar. And this personal was for picture. the altar. I mean, ancestor. I will just double down on five by seven. Okay. I think, I think a lot about me. Okay. <laughs> when I go to my altar and okay. bless the other OE, he gets laced out just like my ancestors. Okay. Because he's a light body. I'm already, put, I'm, I'm already investing into that light body now. Gotcha. So... The stock market just crashed. Everybody lost most of their four hundred one k. I ain't lost none of my uh, none of my ancestor money that I've been giving to myself since two thousand twelve. I've been giving myself ancestor money since yeah mm. two thousand twelve. Ancestral money, okay. Boom. Then after you got yourself on the altar, because you need to honor yourself, you got another one for your uh your, your, your probably your most venerated ancestor, but you always want to go get gold. You know what I mean? And then, it ain't no fun if the homie can't have none. So, boom, you got a whole stack of one, two, three, four, five, six, fifty, fifty million dollar bills. You got a, you get a whole stack of fifty mills, right? Gold bars. Then he got the, then he got the gold bars that you fold. <clears throat> As a chief strategy officer for hire. And I'm explaining it to y'all. I mean, you got O.E. son, the the medicine man, but you also have O.E. son, uh, optimize your investments. You know what I'm saying? It's also looking at this thing about what we're going to price this at. Because I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to have to ask, oh, man. And he got the silver bar that you need to know how to fold. And then, ooh, two, four, six, eight, ten candles. Ten candles this is cheating because all you got to do for this is go look up Jasmine's videos and you can find five rituals and you got two candles for each. These are the size of Jasmine. This is for like quick results. So now you got a candle that you can do a ritual for you and your ancestor light body. Oh. And then he got the cloth to put on the altar in the color of the sun. Yellow. How much of these kits? Um, you forgot that. Oh, because on your altar you need uh, fire, right? You need so boom. There's fire. You need earth, gold and silver, and the money. Water. You gotta get your own glass. Right. Get your own water. We're not. We don't. We don't have that for you. Right. Supposed to know that. And then air. He got the starter kit. Whoo, whoo, whoo! What is this? Um, Sheezy wheezy. He got the ancestor all uh, I incense. I think that's either lavender, sage, or dragon's blood. And the incense holder. So, so he got the air element, the fire element, the earth element. You provide the, all you gotta do is water it. Just add water. This is almost like a mycelium kit. kit. You know what I'm saying? Just inoculate it. All you gotta do is inoculate this. You you already got some mycelium at the house. You just put some in here. 
There it is. And you'll see how the whole thing pop off. What is this running right here? With or without the two microdosing pills. Oh, so this comes with a, with, a with month of microdosing? Just two of them. Two actual pills. One dose. So with the dose, it's $44.44. But just without the dose, and just as is, as everything you wrote down, $33.33. That's cool. Y'all better do something about that. I'm telling you, that's why I make a website. Because then this is going to be forty dollars each. I'm gonna just be doing the round numbers, but I that's how he want to do it. That, that's his angle though, because 30, 30, thirty-three is an angle. You know what I'm saying? So he, he could be in here spitting that Masonic uh, stuff. So I ain't gonna get into that. You know? <laughs> I'm just mind my business. Yeah, we dealing with uh, I don't know nothing. Eleven, eleven, twenty-two. You know, two, twenty-two, one, eleven. Um, you see me? So I like it. Four, forty-four, and five, five, five. That's how I like. I got you. I, I got like you. If you was I got do you. That, I would like. I like forty-four and fifty-five because five is change. Five right. is power, power and refinement. Mm -hmm. So boom, you pay. Mm -hmm. you, you come with the fifty-five. You also gonna get two servings of this. You know, this P funk. Mm -hmm. no I like doubt. that. I like that. I gotta do um, the when we were talking about speaking of microdosing. Okay. Uh, I feel that that's important too that um, the community understands that people have been microdosing which we should call seeding your consciousness because you're actually mm -hmm. seeding your consciousness like you're just adding to your network every time you microdose you're adding to your network your, your network is getting just a little bit stronger just to think if you were sitting there at the loom you know what I'm saying? Another joint drop in. Woo! Just adding to the network. Adding to the network. Mm -hmm. And your network is getting more and more and more and more extensive. More and more and more extensive. Nice. All different ways. We need to we, we we need to look into that even more. No doubt. Oh. Uh, that was the boss. Yeah, so we, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fully ecstatic about that. Also, if he had, if, if instructions come with that, then it might just be 55 or 65. Because I was thinking about doing a video that explained, you know, so they would get an instructional video. Everybody who I've talked to, I told them to get your uh, class that you did on ancestral. Um, ancestral. I think it was class 15. Oh, oh, oh. right. Um, because that was just. You know, I was in there like, he dropping it all. Like, so my whole thing, get it from the source. You know what I mean? Because I could sit and write out some instructions, but you and Jasmine, and, and, and matter of fact, let me ask a question. I don't know if he, I heard he, this. He's also talking about the courses that we have over at selfdiscoveryclass.info. There we go. So he took class 14 or 15. But I know you was in class eight because that's when uh, Eastman, was there. Eastman was there. But I was out in a few of them. Self discovery class dot info. You go over there, you'll see class fifteen, but you'll also see sixteen other classes. We have eighteen classes over there, all a la carte. Look how he smiles. Yeah, because you know why? Because lately I've been hungry for knowledge. You know, I get into that zone. I've been reading my books. I've been studying my lessons. I've been watching Ty, bro. I've been watching your videos. I've been watching my videos, I, right? <clears throat> and when you said that, I was sitting here thinking, you know what I love about it is, it's so much, it's so much, you, you all cover so many different aspects of so many things. But if you really have a thirst for knowledge, when you go to selfdiscoveryinfo.com self discovery class self discovery class and that's what it is dot info it's a class all of you, you like you you're going one of them's going to interest you it, it's like that's why I was smiling cuz I was like Love that's that be you should be scrolling like which wisdom. one is which time? one you want right which one there you oh uh, you need more love uh, you need uh, more abundance so you, you, more you got your own quinoa food. They are, it's already whipped. <laughs> you know what I already mean? whipped it for you. Like I already food. whipped it for you. Remember I like asked that. Me? Yep. Yep. And G said, you know, so why were you such a successful drug dealer? I, my whip game. 
mean? My whip game is Flicking strong. Flicking the wrist, you know what I mean? Whip game is strong. Make it come back. You know yeah. what I mean? So, click clack. So, yeah, it's plenty of, you know, because if you want to get your magic up. Oh, so back to the, the rumor. I don't know. I don't know where I got okay, this. Okay, go ahead. To the question. Is, is the queen, Jasmine Aten, is she the daughter of the great teacher you spoke of earlier? Grandmaster Senyata Saraswati. I can't never say it like you all, and I hate to mess up Senyata. anybody's name. Senyata. Senyata. That, that, Senyata. That's, that's Senyata. his daughter. Okay. Senyata. Okay. I wasn't sure. I, I think I know where I got it from, and I wasn't sure if I forgot and remembered. Like, wait, nah, that is dope. That is dope. So, yes. Um, and her mother was her mother was the psychic to the stars in the eighties. So you came to her mama, paid her two hundred dollars for a reading. She talked about herself for the first twenty, and you had to leave a tip. Two hundred for an hour reading. She talked about herself for 20 minutes. It's understood. Right. Was there a science to that or a reason? Um, because she was, um, she, she, she said she's an incarnation of several Egyptian households. Oh, so she wanted them to know who you're talking to. Like, look, you don't think you just. Okay. But it was all the. It was all so the, then it was an honor for you. It that, was all man. the movie stars, all the doctors, all the plastic surgeons, all the tech, all the Google, all the people was coming to see her. Got you. And Jasmine was over there with tarot and candles at four. Gotcha. Gotcha. At four, well, I'm doing a reading. Yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about, if you everybody talking about your candle magic and all of this, you need to go and check her page <laughs> out. Like, I don't, I don't, it's like talking about moon magic and you ain't took, you know what I'm saying, bro class or astrology. I'd be like, well, where's you getting this from? You know what I mean? Because, like, we got some certified hitters out here. So, yeah, shout out to Jasmine. Jasmine, um, Jasmine man, Anton. You are awesome. Shout out to Jasmine, you're awesome. Jasmine Atten and uh, Mystic at the Crossroads, one ritual away dot com, one ritual away dot com. But you can just go type in Mystic at the Crossroads or Jasmine Atten on YouTube, and you can get all, all those dope the work. Any, any work you looking for, you can get it. She want she looking for the smoke. <laughs> no doubt. If you want it, no that's doubt. that's something that you can go get. Um, shout out to Legacy Anola. Oh man, out here dealing with the shadow work and um, the soul contract connect disconnecting. Yes, shadow work. Shadow work. Mental yes. Health. Me Emotional intelligence. Okay, okay, okay. Shadow work okay. is a part of mental health because that's where it's at. That's it's right. in the head. That's right. That's right. It's in the head. You can go back and clear like, it out. That addict want to change how you feel, but you got to go in in the shadows of the mind. That's right. But you can go in. What I this is what That's on, right. on my Facebook page, I asked people that didn't know what shadow work was. Did they do it and, and how? And everybody was falling short. I seen that. I seen that post. Just like I didn't want to post because I felt like it was a conflict of interest. So yeah, I mean <laughs> the um, you go to the point where there's the injury, but you don't sit with it. You rewrite it. You rewrite it. You correct it. You have the power to correct it. Your imagination is that. That's that Tesla Jedi shit. That's right. Your imagination. That's your emotional intelligence to know that my imagination can go back to an instant and rewrite it because it's all an illusion. Mm -hmm. A man was dropping signs on, mm -hmm. on uh, Baphomet. Baphomet got the slick little smile because he's looking at you like, dummy, none of this is real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, he dropping it. He dropping it. What do they call it? The cosmic comedy? It's a cosmic comedy. Cosmic comedy. So I'm going to go back and write that thing differently. You know what I mean? And that's a part of the mental health that we need as kings, men, because the boys is looking at us and the little girls is looking at us. How are we going to defend manhood right now? Manhood is way under attack. Manhood is under attack. So how... That's leading to a whole nother one. That's mental health and emotional intelligence is the only way we're going to save our manhood. Mm. You, you don't need, I said this every day, you don't need more pussy. You need more, uh, you need more therapy, meditation, and journaling. That's since, right. Since I started journaling and therapy work, boy. boy. Journaling, I am taking, um, I, uh, especially I, you eating all this. 
I'm, I'm giving a course right now on intention and manifestation. I'm calling it I Am, Intention and Manifestation. And so right now I have a course where a group of people, we all come together, and I've had them for the next 90 days write out them, their goals, their intentions, what they have to do to get to them, uh, their personal daily vibe. I mean, I just dropped a whole sign, but I wrote all of their journals from beginning to end for them in my handwriting. You see what I'm saying? So where the to-do list and all of this and that journaling is something they do every night and every morning. What are you supposed to do tomorrow? What have you done today? What did you do today? And what are you doing tomorrow morning? Every day, every night. And the people are telling me that the what they're getting back from it, they can feel it already. Like, oh, they're understanding more because it's accountability. That's what journaling is. And if nobody's taking accountability, because I always tell people, act like... There's a camera on you 24 hours a day, and if you do that, you'll be successful. Your boy, uh, Dr. Malachi York, that's what, that's what he said in the, in the beginning of the ancient Egyptian. Malachi York came out of a start. Early in Chaney talked Malachi York out of channel. Herself taught him? He from the school of a star. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Early in Chaney taught him. Reverend Ike. Early in Cheney, Bob Proctor, Early in Cheney, all the big heads in the secret, Early in Cheney. Mm. Mm. She is the heat. I tell you, what, I've been reading it. I've been like, what? It's like, yo, she, she's, like, not, she's not playing at all. So when you leak it back out in your journaling, that's just like you said. What's the heaviest thing in that in that, in that bin? Why well, you got the little holes in the bottom? Oh, uh, the carbon dioxide, the CO two. So the CO two is, is heavier heavy. than air. So air is when it's coming in. Right. CO two CO two is when you're writing it down. Right. That's right. That's so, right. So we need to start writing some CO twos down. That's right. The oxygen that came in, you done breathed it in, you done lived the experience. Now let me write about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bong, 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 bong. Mm -hmm. But also write your history in advance. Write your history in advance. Because, see, I got them doing both. Woo. They're journaling at the end of the day, but they also, the night before they go to bed, they have to write, turn the page and write from 6 o'clock to whatever time they wake up to the end of the day what their plan is the next day. See? Because your word is your bomb. So when you write it down, you have to be bombed with it. Because I'm showing them how to bring the, the book to life. So now the book's coming to life and it's assisting them to what? They need to know the schedules of the day then. Well, uh, what do you mean? The eight, uh, the eight phases of the day. No, I didn't take them into all of that. Yeah. We only in a week two. That's we true. only a week two. We dealing with. There's got to be. I'm gonna tell you the most thing I gave them so far. And see, I shouldn't be putting all of this out there. You know what I mean? But I ain't gonna give too much. Is I told them to watch What the Health, and I gave him Brian Tracy, the science of self discipline. Told him to listen to it at least three times a week. And the only thing we're dealing with now is the diet. See, we got three months to walk this down. It's ninety days. No, you gotta this give, month one. You gotta give them. Uh, you gotta give them um, your wishes, your command. Mm, what's, what? What you talking about? You gotta give it to me so I can give it to them. See, you know the white, see? You know the white yeah. dude that got locked up. And he didn't want to pay the taxes. Kevin Trudeau. I didn't know that he got locked up and not paying his taxes. We don't play that. White people we don't play that. Okay. Kevin Trudeau got he got bagged, right? Mm hmm A couple of years ago, but before that. Oh, you got it. But before that, he had something called um Oh wait, I got something for you. Okay. I got a solution. Uh that's the guy who does the um cures, right? Well, Eating free blood type and all of that. He talks about him. Peace, Lord, have mercy. Appreciate the love. Now to hold it for a second. Yes, we need to pull off all type of tricks today in the studio. All right, so what was we at? Um, oh, the this. phases of the day. Okay. So the phases of, oh, Kevin Trudeau. Okay. He taught a course, $10,000 a head in the, like, Switzerland Alps or something like that for the weekend. Okay. And he had like uh, KGB there, CIA, FBI, Masons, Rosicrucians, Kings, Princes, Queens, like 
heads, you know, big heads of governments was all there in the room while he was teaching you about this, how you, you know, uh, your mental state. And um, if you was you and your wife, it was 20 bands, not 15. And the whole thing was recorded on CD. Okay. And then you get to go home with that too. Okay. But you was having, they was having these breakout groups after like every 45 minutes that they would stop the audio and then you would go off of like, it's director of the FBI. This nigga, he was talking strategy with him. Then boom, you go for another 45 minutes and boom, you over here with this like high level Scottish right Mason white person. You know what I'm saying? And over here is da 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 da. Um, so, but at the beginning of it, he started talking about what is your teachability, uh, uh, your teachability index. So what you, that's the thing you want to work on with, with the youth is our teachability index because they have a high teachability index then their mental their mind will always be able to take in more things versus them doubting something right like instead of us saying it's a round earth or a flat earth we need to give them the tools to go investigate and let him see for himself instead of saying oh no I said it's XYZ here go the tools for you to go investigate and see for yourself okay but the reason I was thinking about that on the times of the day is because if they got their day like in these pie wedges they know they got eight of them oh the times of the day that you dropped on me right. oh six o'clock got you from six to nine nine to twelve twelve to three three to six six to nine nine to twelve right twelve to three three to six see i've not got myself on that schedule yet you know what I mean? You dropped it on me that one time and you explained you it. Could have, like, you could have had it right beside this piece of paper. You could have it sitting right here. <laughs> you could have it right here. You well, you ain't gonna get away this side without we get it down. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right we go there. through it. You got a sticky, I put it right there. Whoop! We go through it. You're <laughs> just hanging. Like, <laughs> sure. They leave a water bottle? They get them on the inside of that water bottle. Yeah. He wrote on the water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Hey, my boss is coming, so I'm going to get up out of here. Yo, right. Shout out to everybody who tuned in, listened. Shout out to everybody who shared this. You know what I mean? Again, if you need anything that we spoke about, inboxes, need any further information, websites on where to get that class at, all that, inboxes. You know what I mean? Um, yes. We as Psychonaut Travel Agents. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm getting my training. I'm over here for my training. For my travel agent, you know what I'm saying? This is the this is the big boss. I'm just right here trying to figure this thing out. You know? You're doing excellent. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're doing excellent. I mean, you had my master teacher come down to your city and host. So, I mean, like, you're doing excellent. Because, you know, and, and shout out to everybody who's doing their thing. You know what I mean? Everybody, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm so happy that this is taking off the way it is. You know what I mean? Because... So, for so long, people were scared. They was dealing with fear. You know what I mean? It was, uh, uh. Oh, now, we, we, but, busted, we bust that thing in the head yeah, on February yeah. 29th. The fear is going on. On leap year. Right, and that was on a big the, thing to do. Year. I like that. Did on a leap year that you can't even duplicate that. Mm -hmm. He coming back in May or June for another class. Okay. So, we got a potential 22 psychonauts out of there. But this is what was the best thing. We gave you the family rate. So if you pay for, for one person, you could bring your daughter. Mm, okay. Or you could bring your wife. I need to go ahead and buy my ticket down there now. What? To, to what that date you just said, so I can be down there. All the tickets oh, on sale right now. Yes, yes, Might yes. Might as well go ahead and give you me a go, ticket. Go anywhere for five hours. Coming down right there, now. man. Meet the fellow psychonauts in ATL in the North Carolina. Because we I need to have to take me around. We need to have a. We probably have a meetup before Kalinde come back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But right now we're meeting up in WhatsApp and you seeing what everybody jars is looking like. Okay, got you. So our network, the new mycelium network, is 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 being established. Who you say, Mr. Klondike? What's his name? Uh Professor Kramer. Professor Kramer. Professor, Professor Kramer, Kramer is being built. No doubt. Down in Atlanta. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you seen what we're looking like. Right, right. Right. And that's before you even come in and start inoculating. Yeah. Everybody's just getting ready. Kalinda's having the um uh he having the monotub class in April up here, the advanced class. Okay, I'll be there. So, oh, I'll, I'll be, be there. Front I'll Rizzo there. on that one. And speaking of, I got six seats on the spaceship. 
So if you are ready for your trip, inbox me if you're in Detroit. Um, if you're not in Detroit and you're ready for your trip, be willing to pay for my seats on the plane to you to get on the spaceship. Those who know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. Those who don't, keep watching us and you will. My spaceship is ready to go too in April. I got um, I got 12 seats. Oh, doing, wow. Okay. Because I'm doing two weekends. Okay. Okay. So, so that's okay. That's how you Three do people it. on Friday. Oh, on okay. You host the as a group. Okay. Then right. We, then we skip a week. Okay. Three people I would on like Friday. to come down and do that. Three people on Saturday. I've never See, that's why he says don't come tell him what you do. See, that's why. Because we do things differently. I've never done oh. any of mine in the group. I would like to come and Listen, how he do I his, to, though, don't get it twisted. This T'Challa, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right, yeah. You go on one on one, you and, and really it's one on one, and that means with yourself. You know what I mean? So yeah, and so I mean, but there's different chambers and there's different. So I, I would could, like to experience I could, that. I could sit for three people. Jerry said he wouldn't sit for more than five. So if Jerry went sitting for five. What I look like sitting for more than three? Well, I mean, everybody got a different well, you can have skill, it. different heart, about. different mindset, different approach. That's fine. You know, you got the angles and, that, the, and the pivot and, and, the, and, and the position. And the position, right. you know. But so, I get what you're saying. Though. Let's see. Everybody going to have their own room. So okay. it's easy for me to find a three-bedroom oh, house. Gotcha. Everybody's going to have your... You going in at the so same then, time? So then you still... Okay, no, I like how you're Absolutely. doing that. I like Absolutely. how you're doing you gonna, that. Y'all, y'all gonna Because the next together. morning, they have somebody else to... Like, yeah, okay. Or, no, nah, I was... I like that. I like that. That's... That's... I like that. I like that. I'm going to have the windows blacked out. I'm going to put... That's right. Everybody's going to have a blue light. I'm gonna put a blue oh, light yeah? in there. Again, okay. I'm, I'm gonna let them start off with the blue light. Okay. And then when they want, then when they turn it off. Bow. Okay. Till right. in the dark. Then. No doubt. No doubt. Every medicine man got their own approach. I love it. That joint gonna be fire. I love so it. So I need to get that flyer up because that's gonna be um, that's gonna be the uh, that's gonna be the break. How, how can I be part of one of that three man group? I want I want you to sit for me when I come through. I want to go through like that. What you going in on? Whatever you take, everybody else sit on. Are you trying to go in on five? I'm gonna do whatever else you. What I want to. I want. I want to do it the if, way. If you or coming, son. If you was coming, gives in, it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so, okay, so that's good that you say that. Yeah. Only fives and sevens is given out. Okay. So that means I can stay with a person their first two times at least. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And so then. That, so does the people come out and communicate with absolutely. each other oh, like while they're I, on the trips? No. Oh no! You haven't no. done that yet. That ain't happening. No, you coming for your own? Can self. we? No, no, no. Nope, because what about me? You and another cycle now? No, because of your rule. We but but this is the way we're not gonna break your rule though. Which is what? What's that? The way I do? No. What are we here for? Oh, we're here to get high, not to ground. And talking to other people does what? Grounds us. No, no, no. But everybody else is out there too. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. When everybody, this will be their first time out. No. Oh, no, no, no. Me that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, I want to experience that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You that's, know what I mean? I mean, Ansel go in. You can just go in with us. Because me and my queens, we've done it one on one. But that's you know one on one. That's a different chamber again. But right. I've never, I, I missed the uh, the the. When all the uh, brothers went up to Camp Mudu and yes. went, oh, I missed it. Oh, my goodness. Was everybody on five. See, that's what I'm saying. I've never experienced that where, you know, we do a martial arts. I ain't doing martial arts with nobody well, it was on. Raining. Oh. It was raining, so nobody was oh, doing martial arts. Oh, damn. Okay. We were trying to keep the fire lit. That's all we could do is keep the fire lit. Okay, okay. And somebody wandered off, and that was an adventure. Gotcha. But yeah, yeah, I want I want to experience that, that you know, being in an in transmission zone with other individuals, other psychonauts, you know what I mean? Like, let's go to the space station and in space shuttle all together, you know. But uh, yeah, we, we just going on and on, man. We just going on. But it's all on subject, mental health, you know what I'm and saying? Emotional, emotional intelligence. intelligence. That's what we are doing. Because it's increasing both of them. And like a Jedi. Oh my goodness. Like a Jedi. So Why even joke about it? The purpose is to get Jedi-like. Mm. What you doing? The purpose is to get Jedi like. Right. We talking about cleansing with the cambo. You know what I mean? Your spiritual health with everything. Your meditative. Your then we go your, down to Mexico for, with Jerry, for with the toad. Oh, we ain't at even, the beach. We ain't even touched on the. Oh man, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. The toad venom ceremony. The oh my goodness. 
And as soon as you said that he walks in, because I get to thinking about when I went through and then he walks in. What you got there? Remember, he was, remember I let him roll with me. He yeah, was the first yeah, thing I see, like, like when you said the toe, Venom, that is some hope. Now, okay, I got to say, I've heard people saying that, don't, you ain't got to deal with no other deal, just go straight. I, 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 I be like, yeah, I don't know, I think, I think, and, and, and maybe that's just me, but I be feeling like they need to experience something else before they get the toe. I'm, I'm with you. You know, I, I've seen, I've seen people, that be their first ride. And they don't, they can't comprehend it I all the way. Say they can't, but nobody can. Okay, I, I seen people on their third time. Right, I, right, right, right. <laughs> my second time, I'm still. But, I'm, I'm still but what I mean mind. is, as far as entheogenics and 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 and, try, and you get what I'm saying. I, I'm okay, and that's because I'm wondering if I would have done that before. But you did doing. Don't even matter now. Uh, now you mind fucking yourself. I see now exactly you where you're going yourself. with that. That ain't no, nothing but, up. Huh? That ain't mental health. Like, why? What if? What if ain't mental? Ain't good mental health. That's how well, I, I'm saying. When de- I mean, I would think dealing with it came perfect. Because you watch people go through. That's why I'm saying this to you. I it know you so, watch so people who have and people who have it. Yeah. So if you get to, I I'm, I measure everything on sequence of events. What okay. Saying? So you saying that don't matter? Self measuring. Everybody stick got it. Twenty. Self, self is the measuring stick of the world. So self is the measuring stick of the world. Oh, gotcha. For me is. If you got here, this is what you're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be with me, with Jerry. You're supposed to be sitting down here with his toad. That's that. Now, if you are talking to me somewhere and toad is in Mexico and I'm in Detroit, then I'm going to, then, you, then you're still right where you're supposed to be. Because you don't have no access to no toad right now. All right, that's But you got question. hella access to Cambo, Mushrooms, ayahuasca. Oh, that's what I was about to say. So if you they have access. access to it, would you advise? Like, if they've signed up for a trip and they know they're doing the toad venom in May, would and and they're saying, well, somebody told me that I can go on Is a it trip. March now? Yeah, it's March. If it was me, I'd try to catch me two two trips. Okay, so okay, in okay, March. okay. I go this weekend. So if possible, then yeah, you would drop, say go ahead. Today, today's the fourteenth. Yes. Okay. Because yesterday was Friday the thirteenth. There you go. I dropped five grams tonight on the fourteenth, and on the fourteenth of April, I drop I drop seven. Then three more weeks later, I come to Detroit and, and do the toe. toe. Got you. Okay. Because that might be what I do. Because I might do I might drop eighteen next week. Then the end of April, uh, dropping up drop twenty one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's and then May. Come see Jerry at the t- get, get the toe, which would be my third go round. I'm due for 21 to 28 in front of the pallet steer t- stone. I talked to him the other day. I was thinking about you because he was like, "Oh, you can go anytime you want. You just got to get somebody to help you carry downstairs." I was like, "It's <laughs> basically he says I ain't helping you. Right. You can't lift it by yourself. No, you're not. Don't it's, not it's not happening. Right. It's not happening. Right. So well, then yeah. on my birthday, so that'll be." Beginning of May, then I may come back and get in front of the on the yeah. on a nice fresh twenty one. That's that's the next. That's my next. Uh, Cause I think I touched everything else that I wanted to get a hold of. So now is the. You know how you trying to mention Chris along? Yeah. You know how you mean you mean you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, my transmission to Chris is gonna be in my hand, and he means you gonna be on my chest, and then my. Oh, you got yours wrapped. What? My what? You need to come on down to Atlanta so you can get it wrapped. Like I got mine wrapped. You got your Yimin Ju wrapped? No, I got my transmission. Oh, you wrapped. Oh, oh. Oh. She's stupid. Oh. That's a sister down there. Somebody around here probably wrapped jewelry, but I didn't know for a certain. If you come to Atlanta and it's not wrapped, just put it in your pocket. I don't know if it would feel the same using it. Oh, she nice. No, I mean, when I'm, so you could take it out? No, she gonna wrap it and then you gonna uh, have it. Um, I, I use it when I'm Traveling, I, all you do is take it off the uh, take it off the chain. I just don't know how that would feel because I actually have it in my palm. You know what I'm saying? You gonna, you gonna take take the piece off? It's just like I got this medallion on. I take the chain off, then I just pull the chain out and I hold the medallion in my hand. That's what you're saying, right? Oh, I thought you were saying like she wrap it in copper or something like She's that. She's gonna wrap it, but it's gonna have a little hole at the top, just like this, that so you can just pull the pull pull the piece out. 
Okay. Right. Okay. Right. right. So it's not stopping you from palming it then. No way. Oh, okay. No, when you, you said, said rap, I thought you meant like, no, like literally. No, it's light. It's light. Oh, uh, okay. It's, it's a light piece. It's okay. a light piece that don't take away from the piece. Okay. You know I'm on my way yeah. down there. Okay. So I just know to bring it with me. Yeah. I just know to bring it with me. So, um... That's it, man. Oh, so also the uh, Detroit Psychedelic Conference. Detroit Psychedelic Conference, August, right? August, the first weekend in August, the five, sixes, and sevens, or seven, eights, and nines. Okay. Something like that. Right. But uh, just type in Detroit Psychedelic Conference. Their early bird tickets are on sale. Glendale Post has been over here already. He ain't. But it's all good because we'll just hit play when he get here. There it is. Just say, to down. There it is. So Psychedelic Conference. In Detroit, that's gonna be all the hitters is gonna be here. Yes, I've been hearing like I've been hearing. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm buy me a ticket. I'm in the audience. That's gonna be hard. Ooh, hard. Ooh. I mean, I mean, hard body. Like oh, oh, oh! I was gonna say right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You come through with some twenties and some real new chrome. You be like, but that's hard, son. If you all follow me for the 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 psychedelics and the entheogens and the magic and then don't miss this Detroit psychedelic conference. I don't care what city or state you in. Literally, fly in. Go get your little twenty dollars ticket right now. This is big. Go get your twenty dollars ticket right now. Uh, we're getting ready to get up out of here. He got some phone calls. He got to return. Right. I got to get ready to get me something to eat. So as always, I end with tell somebody you love them in the language that they can understand it in. Absolutely. Peace. I have to work on that one right there. That's been a big part of my healing and my therapy is loving somebody. That's uh, the six love languages called distance. I didn't know that. Mm. Six love languages distance. Woo! See, see, don't let, see, that, see, you about to start a whole other six love languages. Let's talk distance. when we get out of here. Six love languages distance. Oh, hold on, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pray out mine. Oh yes, Everybody sir. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. Slow exhale out the mouth. And I'm Bukora Gijala Kimenka Tatiya Tezura Kabel Renat Amcha Saikvanu Tahara Nunara Nagi Borda Sheya Kadeka Kavava Shama. Barkham Tom and Rockamay, to Zika Taker, to Meet Gamla, Kasim Gadosh, Barro Tufka, Nahel Lava Taker, Niki Gail, I'm Chopin, as a Craig Katushka Taker, Shabbatanu Kabel, Ushma, to Zaka to Nui, the Dea Tilemo, Borodokshem, Kobo Makuto, Malang Vaye. If I ain't in peace, we're going to leave you in prayer. Peace. Peace.